Hey everybody, Mike's here with another deck guiding gameplay video. Today's deck is Ash LeBlanc. So I've got the deck code down in the description of the video if you'd like to give the deck a shot yourself. And if you're just here for some gameplay footage, you can head on over to the game number one timestamp. All right, so let's talk a little bit about the deck, um, how it works, what kind of what's included in it, and kind of the general game plan of the deck. And then we'll kind of get into some things like the mulligan phase and kind of what you're looking for against certain decks. Um, all right, so Ash LeBlanc is um, a deck that's kind of... Uh, really uh, hit, the, hit the field running with the new patch. Um, you know, the, the upgrade to LeBlanc to where now she creates a um, mirror image, her uh, uh, extra spell on level up instead of just um, once she's leveled to get dealing 15 units. So she's got boosted up. Um, Ash got buffed up a little bit as well, where she now, instead of just frostbiting on four units, you can reduce the power of, of four plus enemies to zero to level her up. So. Both these unit champions got buffed in the most recent patch, so they're kind of um, paired together. And there's, it's a really strong deck, I think, right now. Um, can win a lot of games. Um, does pretty good against a lot of the meta right now. Um, especially a lot of any of the mid-range or, or late-game stuff kind of has a tough time dealing with all your threats. So, um, All right, so let's talk a little bit about the deck. So we've got our champions, of course, LeBlanc and Ash. So LeBlanc, 3 mana, 5, 2 with quick attack. Levels up if you don't, if she's seen you deal 15, 15 plus damage. So really important to have her um, protected when she's on the field in order to actually get her leveled up. And then Ash, 4 mana, 5, 3 with the attack ability Frostbite the strongest enemy. And then again, if you've reduced the power of 4 plus enemies to 0, she levels up and then creates that crystal arrow on top of your deck. Um, so LeBlanc's uh, level up whenever she deal, sees 15 plus damage dealt. She creates a mirror image in hand, which is a uh, 2 mana slow spell that creates an ephemeral copy of a 5 plus power ally. So really strong um, free ally they can attack in. Um, then Ash, of course, um, when she leveled up, she still frostbites the strongest enemy on attack, but also any enemies with zero power can't block. So really strong uh, level up for Ash. All right, so the followers we include, um, three of Everest and Sentry, two mana, two one with last breath draw one. So good draw card, good blocker as a chump blocker for the early game. We run three of Isol Archer, two mana, three one with um, play effect, frostbite an enemy. So this is how you um, level up Ash. Um, a lot of good combos with this. For example, you can uh, Frostbite and then Culling Strike. Um, and there's other ways if you've got a big unit you need to, to kind of knock down. Um, and of course, Frostbite and enemies from Ash's level 2 form can't block. So, really strong uh, unit here. We also run 3 of uh, Trifarian Glory Seeker, 2 mana 5 1 with Challenger, and can't block. So, really good removal. Um, has that 5 attack, which helps um, not only trigger rep Reputation, which we have a couple cards with that. In this deck, but also um, helps with getting LeBlanc's level up condition met. All right, um, three of Legion Marauder. So this kind of deck kind of takes advantage of the Legion Marauders. So we've got uh, three of these. So three man, three two with the attack effect. Grant allied Legion Marauders everywhere plus one plus one. So um, not only this, but we pair it with strength and numbers, which is an eight man of slow speed that summons two Legion Marauders. So very good to get all these guys going. And of course, they buff themselves up everywhere. Um, so these guys can get out of hand really quickly. If you got three, or two, even two on the board, it can be, become a problem for your opponent. But three or more is, is really tough for opponents to deal with. All right, then we run one of Trifarian Assessor, five mana, four, five. And then when summoned, draw one for each five plus power ally you have. So um, if you have so many five attack units, um, you know, we definitely can take advantage of that. And so usually you're able to draw a decent amount. We also run one of Captain Farron, 8 mana, 8-8 eight, eight with Overwhelm, and then when Summon creates two Decimates in hand, so he's kind of your finisher in this deck. And then we also run uh, two of the Incisive Tacticians, so 8 mana, 5-5 five, five, with Reputation ability costing 6, and so when he summons, uh, Rally. So one really cool combo you can do with this is if you've got the Incisive Tactician on the board and you have a Mirror Image, um, you can actually trigger this multiple times. So let's say you attack in, right on your turn you then play down inside the tactician so you rally again okay you attack in again you play then the mirror image from leblanc on him again and so you attack for a third time so you can get up to three attacks in with uh the inside tactician plus the mirror image effect so really cool combos you can do and of course he's just being able to rally um at any time is really strong okay uh and then as far as spells go we run three of brittle steel one mana burst speed frostbite enemy three or less health very good in this uh meta right now. A lot of uh, small little things that can um, be hit with the Brittle Steel. Uh, we run two of Elixir of Iron, one mana burst speed, giving ally plus O plus two this round. Helps you keep your, your um, champions alive. They have low health, so you definitely want to make sure you're 
um, keeping them around. And of course, they do need to attack to really do things. So that's why having these uh, looks of irons and other, and other freezes and stuff is really nice. And of course, troll chant, very similar function, two mana burst speed, can now plus so plus two, to even any minus two minus zero. So it helps you win combat trades. Uh, calling strike, kill, any unit, kill a unit with three or less power, um, really nice to be able to frostbite like one of their big units, for example, and then calling strike on that unit when it's got when it's frostbitten because it still counts as, you know, that three or less power. Um, we also want to run flash freeze, so three mana burst speed, frostbite any enemy. Uh, two of whirling death, so three mana. Fast speed, battling allies, strikes of battling enemy. Very nice for winning combat trades. Um, uh, if you've got like an overall mute, like a Captain Farron, you can kind of push through damage with that as well. And just very strong overall. So you can play it not only um, on offense, but also on defense. Very flexible in that regard. Uh, we also run three of Whispered Words. So reputation costs two. And then um, you get to draw two. So very often we're able to get that reputation. And of course, four man uh, two mana burst speed, draw two is great. Even four mana burst speed, draw two is not bad. All right, uh, we also run one of Reckoning, six mana slow speed, and then if you have a five plus power ally, kill all units with four less power. So really nice to get rid of uh, your opponent's trump blockers, for example, um, because we have so many five plus um, attack allies, um, really easy to get this triggered. So keep in mind it does kill even your own units with four less power. So things like your sentry, your icefall archers can get hit in that as well. All right, and then of course strength in numbers is our last card. So eight mana burst, or excuse me, slow speed, summon two legion marauders. All right, um, so overall your game plan is just to kind of get down these champions, get down your units and start dealing damage. You want to push damage really fast. You want to get, uh, make sure you're doing good trades. You want to keep up some spell mana to take advantage of, you know, your brittle steels, your elixir fires, all these um, combat tricks to kind of help you keep, stay alive. Um, but you want to pressure your opponent as soon as you can and kind of start uh, attacking in and getting those five attack units in in play. Uh, you want to level up your champions, obviously that's that's kind of the name of the game for this deck. Um, against any type of aggro deck, you want to keep your cheap units, you want to make sure you've got um, your combat tricks to kind of help you win those trades, and you want to make sure you're um, playing it safe against that, in, uh, any type of aggro deck. And then against any other deck, you're really similar game plan. Um, you know, the Legion Marauders obviously I think work a little bit better against some of these control type of decks because um, you know, once they're starting to attack, it's very hard for your opponent to remove um, once these guys start getting really buffed up. And a lot of times your opponent has a difficulty dealing with all your threats, with your high attack threats early in the game. So um, it can definitely still be a challenge, but um, overall I think your game plan is very similar depending on whatever deck you're going against. You're kind of, you're playing it your way really with this type of deck. Um, and overall I think you're going to have a lot of good uh, matchups in the meta. So... All right, um, so I think that's going to do it for the intro. Let's go ahead and uh, get into some games. All right, up against Trundle Caitlin. Okay. Right, let's toss all that back. Okay. Got our Sentry, LeBlanc, and our Marauder Horde. There's our Farron, okay. All right, nice. Go ahead and get the uh, sentry down. Okay. All right, looks like it's like a concurrent timelines type of deck, I think. All right. Um, so they're gonna have troll chance, maybe some freezes. Okay, got reckoning as well. Yep. So there's timelines. Okay. Um. Go for this. LeBlanc, it's very easy to run like a Mystic Shot. We'll just pass here. <laughs> okay. Alright, um. Could get Ash going. Get LeBlanc going. Very easy for them to kill LeBlanc, unfortunately. Um. Let's play out Ash here. Um, I don't think I want to attack into this board with him having six mana here. I 
we'll just pass for now. Okay, yeah, we've got the shock blast, sure. Fortunately, no elixir of iron or troll chant we've drawn yet, which is very unfortunate. Okay. Real steel, okay. Alright, so he's getting rid of our either our strength of numbers or our fair in here. <laughs> Okay, we'll go ahead and do our strength in numbers, I think. Since he can't really do much about that. We'll block this. Okay. There's Troll Chan, that would have been handy last turn. Okay. I do want to get LeBlanc down here. Now that we've got Troll Chant to protect her a little bit. Okay. Go ahead and do this. He still could have a kill on one of these, but, you know, at least get to attack now. Blanc is dead, unfortunately. Okay. There's Caitlyn. Alright, we do have freezes for her, at least. We actually have Reckoning as well. Go ahead and do this. down here. There's Trundle, okay. Alright. Go ahead and get this down as well. Can pull something to kill. That's pretty nice. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, attack him with everybody here. Get our boys going. Okay. It's fine with me here. He's got buried in the ice. We're fine because we can just do this. Okay. I guess technically I can't do bur can't uh, rally yet. Um, yeah, we just gotta pass here. He's got the bird in ice. I'm assuming that's what he's gonna play here. Or just hit that stairs, okay. Alright, um... Could do... This here, and then we can do this. One must stack the wood before burning the pyre. Look what I plenty for all of us. Nice, we got him. All right, cool. All right, up against Mono Shrima. Okay. Um, I like keeping LeBlanc. I think that's it for now. Okay. We got our champs going. So quicksand is the one thing to be worried about for the opponent. But we do have like a freeze and 
Looks of iron, so we should be okay, I think. Sentry going here. Nothing escapes my watch. Right. In for two. We're just looking to play out on curve, really. Okay, Roiling Sands, sure. Um. How bad is it to play into that right now? I mean, we do have the Elixir of Iron, right? So we play it, he pulls it, Elixir of Iron. I think that's fine with me. Go ahead and do that now. And he starts leveling up block as well. I think we go ahead and play Trifarian Glory Seeker rather than Ash, because you know what, let's do Ash, because then he can only kill one of these, right? Whatever he's playing here. If he's got Red of the Arcane that he's literally got, that's all he can do is kill one of these, so if he plays a unit, we can freeze it with Ash. So I think I like this. Okay. So he's got the Xerath level up. Xerath's still way far off from level. Still need six more, so we'll go ahead and do this now. We want to have this last. Don't think it actually matters in this situation, but typically you want the LeBlanc attack and last since she needs to see damage dealt. Alright, nice. LeBlanc is now leveled up. Okay. So I'm down to six. He's still pretty far from leveling Azir, which is fine. Um. Yeah, there's no point in even attacking with anything right here. Okay, definitely just gonna brittle steal that. Ash is still a little bit away from leveling. Still needs two more. Okay. Actually, I like whispered words here. Let's see if we can draw some other things. Um. I like doing this that way if he wants to use where the arcane he's got to destroy and manage him. Seems good to me. Okay, he's got devoted cancel. Interesting. I did not expect that. Okay. Not a bad uh, card for this deck. Alright, um... Start with this, I think. I mean, we do want to do mirror image, right? I think mirror image on the ash actually is really good here. Start with this. It could have right of negation, but that's four mana, and then we've got, you know, Glory Seeker plus. Uh... Okay. Okay. 
So I can go ahead and brittle steal this. Actually, I can make it to where his guys can't even attack here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we definitely had that one. Nice. Very nice. Alright, up against Sejuani Renekton. Okay, definitely want to toss all that back. Okay. Sentry Ash. Reckon he's not great against this deck, I don't think. He's going to have a lot of five attack units, but we'll see. Okay. He might have some freezes. He's going to probably have freezes and stuff as well. Okay. Well, we can get this in. We we'll do this. We could save a couple health, but he still dies. So, okay. Coin strike. Okay. Let's see, do we have a play here? We don't even have a play on three, unfortunately. I think we got a pass here. Oh, that's not good at all. We can't even uh, coin strike that. Could whispered words, but I think I just banked the mana. Yeah, this is not. This is looking pretty rough here. <laughs> and there's Renekton. Um, could do this, and then when he pulls it, in, I could freeze it. He's gonna gain plus two plus one. I think I have to do it. I don't think there's any other choice. here, unfortunately. Okay. Um. Hmm. Okay. Ideally, I'd like to maybe culling strike this down. Hmm. If we do this... Yeah, I just don't know what he's going to do. Maybe I start with a freeze here? Let's start with that, actually. This is a tough position here. Because he could have like Desert Duel or something, so I don't want him to be able to use that right away. Ideally, I'd like to use Culling Strike. Glory Seeker is also pretty nice. Let's at least try this, I think. Ah, so tough. Alright, I'm going to go with this. Try to get a kill. Do have elixir of iron up still? Whatever. If he plays another unit, it's almost always going to be bigger than this, so it'll get frozen by Ash. He could have a buff. Okay. Is there any reason to attack with this? It just gets eaten by the Omen Hawk, right? Okay. Okay. So we can hopefully still survive here. Could have another one, right? So he does have another one, but at least his Renekton's gone. So we trade unit for unit there. Okay. Not the greatest for us, especially since we're down so much right now. Okay. We can't really do anything with this hand right here, can we? Man. 
this sucks. Um, yeah, this is really bad for us. I guess we gotta do this. Hope we can get a. No, we got nothing. Damn, that's really bad. I think we're lost here. Alright, um, definitely stopped some damage. But, yeah, that's pretty bad for us. We couldn't get anything going here. It has not been too good here. Alright, this is just really not doing anything, is it? Yeah, I think we're just dead. Do this. Yeah, it's just not doing anything. That's right uh, unfortunate. Oh, you look at this place? Could do this and then... But if he blocks with that... I was going to think of Whirling Death with this, but if he blocks with that, then he just still kills us, so... Yeah, we can just hope the Whirling Deaths, I guess. Oh, he's got Rune Runner. Yeah, that's going to be enough to kill it. Alright, GG. Alright, up against Thresh Nasus. Toss that back. Um, I'll keep LeBlanc. Could keep the Brittle Steel as well to protect her a bit in combat. He's gonna have a lot of small things. Okay, we got a lot of protection for LeBlanc now. Alright. <clears throat> Okay, full bank of mana going into the block. We've got Ash as well. Could have a Vengeance or something, I think, but... Okay, sure. Okay. Black Spear. Okay. Um, yeah, we can't stop that. Alright. So the block is gone. Um, I'll start with this. What do we got here? So you're gonna let that hit in. All right. Five mana. Um. Do we want to go with Ash now? I think it's fine. Core Seeker could stop something. Like Thresh. It's, um. Yeah, that's fine. We're getting it down to. He could have. You know, another black spear, but I think we can throw out against black spear this time. So we'll go ahead and do this. Okay, we got our Farron. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I'm gonna pass here. He might pass back, which is totally fine with me. Okay, interesting. Yeah, we're just gonna hold up our mana here. Okay. Okay, sure.
Um, don't mind getting Glory Seeker down now. He's used what two vial feasts? Okay. Could draw with whispered words. I think it's fine. I like this open attack here. Actually, we could freeze now. We just open attack. I think open attack's fine. Okay, cool. Got Farron coming soon. Go ahead and whispered words here. And I'm fine with passing. Interesting. Just up to three now. Um, can get this down. Okay. Yeah, we unfortunately cannot do anything about that. Just pass here. Okay. I think at this point now, Black Spear's three man. I don't think I'm worried about really anything. I'm gonna go ahead and get Lip Lock down. Could have Ruination, but if he's got Ruination, we just get Farron. So we're not too worried about that, I don't think. Okay. So he might actually get the Thresh leveled up, which is fine. Yeah. So he gets Nasus in. Which is fine. That's, I don't think it's really that big a deal for us. We're going to have a... Uh, we've got a big board. Like, yeah. At least five attack units here. Might just freeze the thresh so that if it attacks, it dies to anything. Seems good to me. Levels up Ash. You could get double Nasus down, I guess. Oh, Nasus is six. Never mind. He can't come down now. Okay. And then Ash does freeze, you know, let's see, the biggest unit here. It's at 8-8, eight, eight, so he will be getting, can I actually do double troll chant? Do we let that go? So if I do... Let me go like this, actually. I was only at 8-8. Eight, eight. Seems better to me. Do I want to risk going down that low for atrocity? No, let's do this instead. Make him use more resources if he wants to kill. Doesn't kill this. Teach enemy else summon this round. Oh, so this is only hitting this right here. Which I think is fine with me, right? I don't really care about that. His thresh still survives, but 
that seems fine. Absolutely fine. here. Alright, um, question is, do we play around anything like Ruination? I mean, if we do this, we could Frostbite all this stuff, right? I think that's the play, and then if he has something major, that's fine. Could have Siphoning Strike, but everything's gonna be frozen here. Okay, she's got renegation, sure. Okay. Could do Farron and then mirror image onto it. Either way, this is looking pretty good for us. He's only got... He has no... Can't do Ruination now. If he even runs Ruination. I don't think this deck normally does. Could go Siphoning Strike, perhaps. Yeah. Figured that. That's totally fine with me. Because that's a lot of mana he's using for that. Okay, I'm just gonna do this then. I'm gonna do a mirror image onto it. Yeah, <laughs> we had him there. All right, GG. Alright, so that is Ash LeBlanc. Um, pretty solid deck, you know, you've got a new buff to LeBlanc to where she gets that mirror image on level up. Um, it's really strong, you know. Uh, we saw in that last game, especially you're able to get the Captain Farron doubled up. I mean, Incisive Technician, Tactician, excuse me, doubled up is really good as well. I mean, there's plenty of good uh, hits with that. Um, and, you know, you're able to get to a lot of good five attackers going pretty quickly with these Legion Marauders, too. And then having the freezes and the other... Um, you know, Troll Chance and Elixir of Iron, so have to protect your, your units is pretty nice as well. So overall, I think it's a really solid deck. Um, one of the better decks to come out of the new expansion, or excuse me, the new patch um, that we just had. So, Alright, that's going to do it for this video. Uh, give the deck a shot and let me know how it goes for you. We'll see you next time. Take care.